Mahindra was seen testing an all new SUV code named Z101 for almost three years now. It was first seen before the COVID pandemic and is still seen one week before this video was shown. Do you think Mahindra is bringing something extraordinary to disrupt this market? Let's find out. कैसा लगा मेरा मजाक? <laughs> of lately, Mahindra has been seen playing a game of hide and seek. First with the off-roading beast, the Thar, then with the classy XUV 700, and now with this all-new SUV. The reason I am calling this SUV in a very generic term is because the name of this car has yet not been revealed to the Indian market or for the Indian consumers. So, if this will be the Mahindra Scorpio, the consumers. And the Indian market is in for a treat. <laughs> the Scorpio is not just a car anymore but an emotion. The raw and rugged feel given to each generation has made people fall in love with it and this generation is no less if this is the new gen Mahindra Scorpio. With the previous generations of the Scorpio, Mahindra was aiming at a rugged and off-road centric design. But now, along with a rugged, muscular and beefy design, it's going to add a touch of luxury. <laughs> For the past three days, Mahindra has been tingling our excitements with three new teasers. The big daddy of SUVs is the new teaser tagline. If this car is the big daddy of SUVs, obviously the teaser should also have the big daddy of Bollywood. Who do you think that is? Shh. Let me Hmm, you guessed it right. That is none other than the Bap of Bollywood, Mr. Amitabh Bachchan. If we can believe the teasers and look at the front profile of the new Mahindra SUV, the first thing we can see are the, is the large, chunky front grille. Now, this front grille resembles a lot like the testing version of the XUV 700. Now, don't get confused. This is the production version. This is the testing version. So, you can see the difference between both. In the center, I put the picture of the grill of the new Mahindra SUV. So in this grill, this is ch grill is chunky and big and this gets chrome embellishments and chrome strips in the center which is six slats and we get a chrome garnish around it. This gets the new Mahindra logo. Don't get confused. Today when I'm shooting this video, we have the we have a photo from the rear profile and the front profile and from the front profile of the car we can see it gets the old Mahindra logo, but this car will get the new Mahindra logo as per the teasers because yes, you is a bap hai na yaar. Hasde chere na matlab hi nahi hunda ki naun kare koi taklif nahi hundi. Pata matlab hi hunda ki na naun taklif na deal karna hunda. If we move our gaze. Towards the lighting setup of this new SUV, we can see we get two chamber LED headlamps and LED fog lamps. Now, these headlamps, don't you think they look like the Brizza? And this is not me who is saying it. These are the people in the comment section. I have a lot of scroll and I have a lot of this. What is the problem? What is the problem? Around the fog lamps, we can see C-shaped LED DRLs as well. If we set our eyes on the side profile of the new Mahindra SUV as per the teaser, we can see we get flared out wheel arches which are in matte black along with brushed silver accents, not just on the fender or the arches but all around the car. Also, we get chrome door handles along with request sensor on the driver side as well as the passenger side on the front, not on all four doors. Also, we might get 17 inch alloy wheels, which from one angle it might look small, but in real life we need to know, we can know only later if these are actually small or not. Okay. First of all, before showing this image, big thanks to Scorpio underscore 2022 underscore official for sharing these images on the internet. So, in this image, we can see the rear profile of this car of the car which is in a white color which just came today when I am shooting this video. So in this we can see that the lower bumper, the bumper is in black. Now I am not sure if this will be in black or it will be in body color as this looks like the pre-production variant 
in which we can see there is no Mahindra logo and this might be the old Mahindra logo which is the pre-production variant for sure. So in the bumper we can see near the skid plate we can see we get two reflectors plus some kind of light I think because it comes in a grey and red finish on both sides and it is covered with a chrome garnishing along with that we get skid plates in smoked metal or grey finishing and uh, apart from that we get a handle on the left side for the door like we get in the like we get in the previous generation and the lights they look kind of inspired from the volvo xc60 or the ertiga so do let me know which one do you think it really resembles a lot because people are writing in the comment section a lot so you tell me also in my comment section which of the car does it resemble and also we get wipers and uh, i'm not able to understand mostly there'll be defoggers as well and this looks quite a lot bulky and looks little similar to the xub 7 w but yes if there are more clear images in the later stage i will surely share it with you from the three teasers released mahindra has played a smart game and has not revealed the interior looks or any images of the new suv <laughs> But yes, a few quirky eyes don't disappoint us. In the interior from the spy shots, if you can see, we get a tan plus black color scheme and accompanied with a lot of piano black elements. The AC console which we get below the screen is bathed completely in piano black. The complete AC panel or the air conditioner knobs have completely been taken from the ongoing Scorpio model, the XUV 5W. Now, when we had tested these cars earlier, we felt that this, the knobs felt dated as well as not very premium. But in this car, we just want to see when we see it in real life, if these are rugged or they are premium. Also, the controls or the switches below the AC knob are the switch type buttons. And these are completely inspired from 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 abe jaldi bol kal subah panvel nikalna hai mini coop paisa hi paisa hoga the steering wheel of this new suv is taken from the xuv 7w doesn't it look too classy compared to how rugged it looks kya main kya bola tune the screen provided in this new car is completely different from the old Mahindra models. It is similar to the XUV 7W, but the size is different. The interface is same. The Adrenox connectivity features are there. And the Scorpio S11 used to get a smaller 7 or 8 inch touchscreen infotainment system, which we get in the lower models of the XUV 7W. Instead of the horizontally positioned AC vents above the screen, now we get the vertically positioned AC vents on the right and left side of the touchscreen of this car. Instead of the rugged and old school type gear rod, is sajjan ko kya taklib hai bhai? Kya taklib hai inko? Now we get a sophisticated automatic and manual gearbox with a generous use of leather material. Oh my god! Wow! And also, if you see up close, you can see that the handbrake is a traditional level and not the electronic parking brake. Oh, boy! Maro, mujhe maro! Maro, mujhe maro! Maro! Mujhe maro, maro. Oh. On the front, we are getting two fast charging ports along with wireless charging. And 50 rupees cut over acting. This SUV is going to get an electric sunroof but not a panoramic sunroof along with this car is not going to get the ADAS features which is the automated driver assist system which we get in the XUV 7W. Some new additions from the previous Mahindra models will be 360 degree camera, cruise control, semi-digital instrument cluster, AC vents for second and third row, six airbags, ESP, traction control, Hill hold assist will mostly be there. On the engine part, the car is going to get two engine options. First one will be the 2.2 litre diesel engine, which might produce 140 PS of power and 320 Newton meters of torque. 
this engine will be taken from scorpio previous gen scorpio and that makes 130 bhp of power and 320 newton meters of torque it is also, also expected to get an option of a 2 liter m stallion engine that is already present in the thar and the xuv 700 Right now we don't have any official confirmation of the color colors variants and pricing of this car but a scoop which i've got from a youtube channel in sales car so myth is that the first letter of the variants will be z or z and the top variant name will be z8 l8 e which means z8 luxury line and 80 yes this will mostly get the luxury pack just like the xuv 700 so ruko zara Sabar karo right now the prices of the scorpio which we expect the new suv will also be the new gen scorpio is from 16 to 22 lakhs but the new, new car, car will also, also come up around the same price, price bracket but, but with a few changes but there will be no drastic price change difference oh my god wow in the end i would just like to conclude that beat any suv beat with any name or beat any chassis this car will continue the legacy and will carry forward the legacy of the scorpio if you like this video do consider subscribing and press bell icon so that you never miss another update from auto dna take care and stay safe khatam bye bye tata goodbye gaya